Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude back with another fossil hunting video. So today I'm out in Cranbrook, British Columbia, Canada, and I am at a Devonian age site, which is around 400 million years old. Now at this site you can find fossilized crinoids, which are sea lilies, brachiopods, which look similar to bivalves or clams, as well as gastropods, which are uh, snails, marine snails. You can also find uh, nautiloids here, so like squid and shells, and tons and tons of coral. This is a really great site for finding small bits and larger chunks of fossilized coral. Now it's about, uh, how many kilometers? 57 kilometers up a logging road? So it's pretty tough to get to, but once you find the exact locality, it's easy pickings. Now a lot of the fossils have just fallen out and they're kind of in this gravelly matrix. So it's very easy to just spot them out and pick them up. So let's take a look if we can see anything right off the bat. I think that's a bit of coral. Let's see. Oh, we've got a little brachiopod. See if we can get anything very distinct, noticeable, not just little chunks. There's a crinoid stem right there, that round circle. So crinoids have segmented columns that lead up to little branching arms, which they use to collect food from the water column. And usually you just find the parts of the stem. So there's a, another brachiopod. So a lot of people um, mistake brachiopods for being uh, bivalves because they've got two shells. But brachiopods are actually more related to barnacles and they anchor themselves to the bottom of the seafloor with this long appendage sometimes. And I think they're still around today. We've got a few. I'm not sure if they're fresh or salt water, the ones that are alive today, but these guys are definitely um, marine. I'm gonna find a good coral. I feel like this section's been a little picked. So let's go check out the side of the road. So a lot of larger pieces of coral over here. Every time I come, I usually find quite a few large chunks over the edge. So if you ever find yourself out this way, always make sure to explore past what you see. Because usually, you can find a lot more out there. It'd be cool if this site yielded any uh, fish, like placoderms, armored fish, but I don't recall anyone finding any or talking about it, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were some bits of material. What's that? Hmm. Actually, let's take a look in some of this slide matrix. Got some really nice looking brachiopods here. That'll wash up nice. Oh, and here's some coral, finally. So there's a little piece of coral. You can see all the little holes where the polyps would be. Um, could be coral, uh, could be, uh, there's another thing, another like colonial creature. Bryozoan? No, maybe. So there's a lot of those guys hanging around. Some more of it. Oh, look at that. A little sp spinule or something. Spicule. Um, 
So yeah, it's just mostly pickings. Sometimes though, I like to bring my pickaxe up to some of the rock faces and chip away to see if I can find any complete pieces and whatnot. But mostly I just like relaxing, sitting here and looking through all this little gravel that's fallen down. Because most sites around here require a lot of hard work with the pickaxes and I've just been out to Alberta for the past couple of days hiking around and I'm really exhausted. So this is a nice change for once just to sit back and pick up one at a time little bits of fossil. Oh, that one's a cool one. Look at that. It's thin. Good sample piece. It's got a few different things in it. Now I know you can also find Ragosa coral here. I found one the first time I came. It's kind of uh, in a horn shape. It's cool looking. Let's see if I can climb up here without falling. There's a little something in there with the tail. Could be a little brachiopod. There's a larger brachiopod. And here is a gastropod shell. Usually they are three-dimensional, but this one seems to be cut away. So you can see the inside chambers where the animal would have lived. So that's really cool that the specimen came out like that. Oh, here's a rare one. So this is a trilobite. So during this time, we'd see a decrease. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? We'd see a decrease in these guys. Their populations would start to go downwards in diversity and amount thanks to armored fish and um, nautiloids becoming more apex predators. So it's not too common you see these guys at these sites, but this is pretty cool to see. So yeah, I found about two trilobites um, in total here. So this makes three. That's a cool find. Um, let's see what else. I did eyeball up this gastropod. Bingo. There we go, a tiny little spiral one. They come in different shapes and sizes at this site. And I dropped it. I'm gonna have to go back down. There's still so much everywhere I look. There's like something. Um, sorry about the camera angle, I'm just picking up another fossil. I think this might be the bottom part of a gastropod or maybe part of a nautiloid. The nautiloids here, they, they're pretty straight shelled, so that's how you can tell them apart from um, the, the gastropods. The gastropods lean to like the left or right when their shells curve, but these guys got a spiral that are um, straight up and down so they don't curve to the left or right. I'm looking at that. That looks unusual. Very round. Let me take a look at what that is. I'm not sure. It might be a section of a straight shelled um, nautilus. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'll go back down to my bucket because my hand's getting full. And of course, I've got the camera in one hand. So we'll take a closer look.
might just be the end of a coral though. It's interesting. Okay, so I just found a majority of the things you can find at this site. I think I'll conclude this video. We're already at 10 minutes now. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments on... Oh, I just saw something else. One sec. It's another round slash flat thing. Geez, just about to end the video, and I keep spotting more things. Okay, I'll quickly wrap it up. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.